Mr. Transformers 96 here with the video review. This time we have from the Marvel Legends Spider-Man series, the Monster Venom Build-A-Figure from that series. Uh, so I'm quite excited to build this, uh, this Build-A-Figure. This is one that I was kind of anticipating uh, quite a bit. Um, I'm just a big fan of Spider-Man, Spider-Man villains, and uh, Venom is, of course, a, uh, a cool character, and this was a unique version of him, so that's what really drew me to this Build-A-Figure. However, the Build-A-Figure itself, just by the pictures and everything, didn't look super impressive. It looked neat and everything, but it didn't, like, it wasn't mind-blowing. Um, however, actually getting in and building it, it is quite impressive, and I actually like it quite a bit in person, I must say. Uh, so let's go over it. So first of all, just kind of the face sculpt, because for me, this this almost didn't have a monstrous uh, um, quality to it. It just kind of looked like an extreme Venom, just like slightly extreme. Like, it, this could pass as just a normal Venom, too, other than the spider symbol being weird. Um, the rest of the figure could just be a Venom, you know? It, it didn't necessarily scream monster Venom to me, it was just more regular Venom. Uh, but there are details and there are little pieces of him that do scream monster when you get it in person. The face sculpt does look very nice. I do like the teeth, they're very good, and the gums you can see quite well. Particularly from the side, it looks really nice. I do like this kind of uh, jaw area um, that's visible. I think that looks quite cool. His tongue is nice. It, it flings out and, and does a couple twirls, especially towards the end. It's very cool. Uh, this is one aspect, though, where I think that they could go even more extreme. Uh, have the mouth even open wider, like a really disgusting uh, amount. Like, it's just so wide, it just looks almost ridiculous. Just to go, like, more extreme, you know? Um, but I do like the details in the face. I think it's very nice. And overall, it does look quite good. The body looks nice. Uh, where you really can see like the monstrous quality of him is within the details on uh, the actual body and, and, and limbs, where you have a bunch of little veins. Um, the veins are really what kind of extend him to be monster, in my opinion. So I do like that. Like As you can see, it's all sculpted in there. Uh, it's all the same color as his body, so it's hard to see in photos. But in person, you can definitely see it, especially with good light. And uh, you can see all the just tremendous amount of veins that run down his entire arm, like into his hands and everything. Same thing with the legs. It runs down completely throughout it. So that's that's what really separates him from just a normal Venom, in my opinion. And then, of course, the spider symbol is very extreme as well. That's something that's very unique to Monster Venom, too. So that does help differentiate him as well. It's just, it's more jagged, almost like an electric, electricity styled spider symbol. It's like if Electro had a spider symbol, this is what I kind of expect. Um, so, it's interesting. Uh, very cool on the back. The little tendrils that are hanging out of him are very nice. I like the movement to them. They're rather unique. I feel like whenever we get tendrils like this, uh, they're more straight and they're, they're longer. These are more... Th these look like they're goo that's flying off, which is very cool. It has much more of a goo quality to it than, uh, than a lot of the other Marvel Legends uh, ones that have tendrils like that. So I do like that. Sometimes they're like a little sharp. These are all very uh, very rounded towards the edges, so they do look like goo. And I like them. They, I, you know, they could go even more extreme give them give them a lot more of those but I think the ones that they do have look quite nice as far as his proportions they're interesting he's very top heavy his legs although you know they're they're bulkier um, but just compared to his his body and his arms and everything he has tiny legs which I kind of like the look of it just gives him a more extreme look uh, since he's not that well proportioned so I think that looks cool but he looks a little weird when he's just standing straight up and down he just looks a little odd in poses though that's when this guy really shines and his articulation is quite good uh, as far as his articulation goes he's got a bone jointed head which is a little hindered just by the shape of his head and his body um, but it is on a hinge which can go up very high which is quite nice as you can see he can look up an insane amount and with the you know screaming it really does fit him so I do like that quite a bit he has an ab crunch which can go forward two clicks so you can go forward very far actually like extremely far and you can go back uh, he basically just straightens out so you basically just get the looking uh, the bend forward and the bend forward is very nice though so. ball hinge shoulders bicep swivels uh, hinge elbows that are just single but they have a nice range to them like a full 90 degrees uh, you know like a solid 90 degrees which is nice and then he has a uh, hinge um, uh, sorry ball hinge uh, wrists which work really well the hinges go very far in both directions which is nice 
Swivel at the waist, a ball joint hips, which you can kick out this far, and then kick to the side an extremely far amount. That, that's a nice split on the hips right there. He has a swivel at the thigh, double hinge knees, hinge, pivoting ankles, and then he has a little cut at the lower calf kind of area. Um, so overall, his articulation is really good. Like, the actual joints themselves aren't anything special. It's just the range that they have is very nice. He has a really good range on all of his joints, which really helps him a lot. And, uh, yeah, this guy, like, when he's just standing, he looks all right. When he's in a pose, though, that's when he really shines. So when you really can get him posed in a in a creepy stance or something, especially with a Spider-Man figure underneath him or something, that, that's when this figure, like, really comes to life. So... I do very much appreciate that. His joints are all extremely stiff, especially like the uh, the elbows. I find I really have to like put a lot of force in to get the elbows to move, which is kind of neat. It, which is nice, you know, it, it makes it feel much more sturdy. But even just something like this where he's just a little bit bent. Tilt the head there. He takes on a very extreme look to him, which I think just looks awesome, and uh, and that really you know brings him above some of the other uh, Venom Marvel Legends figures because there have been quite a few Marvel Legends Venom figures, um, but this one has a unique quality to it. Uh, I definitely like it a lot more than the Space Venom that was released for uh, a previous Spider-Man wave as the build a figure. This is definitely a, a superior Venom build a figure. Um, I don't know a whole ton about Monster Venom in general, like that specific version of Venom, uh, but I do like the look of this. Uh, and even, like, again, if you wanted to, you could have this be a stand-in as just a regular Venom, to be honest. I mean, it doesn't necessarily scream monster. There are monsterish elements on it, but, you know, it's only if you look close. So, from a distance, this could just be a really cool-looking, just regular Venom. So, that fits as well. Uh, so, yeah, so overall, I do like this build figure quite a bit. Um, if you're not, if you're a huge Venom fan, absolutely get this. If you're just a casual Venom fan, and the figures in the wave aren't really doing much for you, you know, you don't need to go out of your way to get this. It's not going to blow your mind. But personally, I actually really did like this build figure I think that it, uh, it's quite nice, and I enjoyed the wave in general. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the uh, Marvel Legends Monster Venom build figure Let me know what you guys think of the build figure and thanks so much for watching.